up is Javier Kochar. He doesn't look stressed or anxious. Maybe because his invention might have a solution? Let's see what he has in store for us. Hi, Javier. Hi. How old are you, Javi? I'm 13 years old. Wow. Years old. Amazing. That's it. And are you the coolest kid in class? Oh, uh, I'll leave that up to the class to decide. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we may not know that, but you're definitely the coolest kid on this set. Thanks a lot. So please go ahead. Stage is yours. This is your moment. Go for okay. it. Okay. It was just another day at my robotics class when me and my friend Dhruv were discussing about our lives. We then started discussing about his exams which were coming up and we started discussing about how stressed he was. As we discussed this further, we realized that during the lockdown, we weren't the only people who were stressed. And by knowing that you have stress and anxiety, you've already solved half the problem. Us being robotic students, we should make an invention that solves this problem. So we got started and that was how our project Breathe Free was born. Breathe Free uses our chest and belly expansion and breathing's direct correlation to stress and anxiety to further scale it. We have two boxes in this device. One is a 2 inch by 3 inch box and a second 0.5 inch by 2 inch box. These go around your chest and belly respectively and they each have straps. Using a force sensitive resistor, we measure how much these straps are being pulled and then determine how many deep breaths, shallow breaths and so on you have. Then we use a Python code, data processing and using an FPDF library, we create a PDF report that tells you about your deep breaths, shallow breaths, and also your stress levels. Wow, amazing. I love that the story starts with one day in robotics class. That's amazing. And so your device, it doesn't actually reduce stress. It, it simply tells you when you are getting stressed out yeah. or you're consistently getting stressed over a period of time yeah. so that you can start making changes in your lifestyle. Correct. Got it. So I have two points over here. One is a thought and one is a question. My thought is, is that I think it's absolutely amazing that you're looking at a topic like mental health. Uh, my question is, is this something that will be permanently kept on as a belt on your chest and stomach? And if so, then what would be the practicality of that if you are experiencing medium to long term issues with anxiety and stress? So uh, our project is aimed to be given to the consumer through doctors and therapists who help you deal with this stress. And this could be used as a tool to measure it for them. So you don't necessarily need to wear it 24 seven, but the longer you wear it, the more accurate your results. And you don't need to wear it for the rest of your life. Just as long as your therapist feels or your doctor feels that he needs to check your stress levels. It's quite cool because it's quite a nice preventive to a lot of things. We're always tackling things the other way. So what would be your next focus point? What would you do if you get to the lab stage? If I get to the lab stage, I have two main objectives. One is um, a redesign of the outer box of our prototype, make it more sleek. We are also working on making a machine learning code that will make it more accurate. How will you translate the measure of emotion to coding, to machines, etc. Because that's a whole different people will have different thresholds of that. So how will you kind of figure that out? The current prototype, we have like a short calibration period. Hmm. But um, since we intend to make it be used more long term, for one day we would calibrate our code. So to measure like your highest points of breath and your lowest so that we come to know exactly how much is a deep breath and how much is a normal breath for you. Awesome. Thank Fantastic. You. That was a really great presentation.